I'm Sebastian, and it, this is for Mrs. Mann's class, and we're reading A Chair for My Mother by Vera B. Williams. My, my mother works as a ra waitress in the blue tile dinner. Diner. After school, sometimes I go to meet her there. Then her boss, Josephine, gives me a job to do. I wash the salts and peppers. I fill the ketchup one time. I peel the old onions through the onion soup. When I finish, Josephine says, Good work, honey. Good work, honey. And pays me. And every time I ha put half my money into the jar. It takes a long time to fill a jar this big. Every day when my mother comes from work, I take down the jar my mom empties all her change from tips out of her purse for me to count. Then we push all of the coins into the jar. Sometimes my mother laughs when she comes home from work. Sometimes she is so tired she falls asleep while I count the money in, out into piles. Some days she has lots of tips. Some days she only has a little. Then she is worried, but each, every single Shiny coin goes into the jar. We sit in the kitchen to count the tips. Usually, Grandma sits with us too. While we count, she likes to hum over. She has money in her in her old leather wallet for us. Whenever she gets a good bargain on tomatoes or bananas or something, she buys. She puts them in saving and they go into the jar. When we can't get a single other coin into the jar, we are going to take out all the money and go to buy a chair. Yes, a chair. A wonderful, beautiful, fat, soft armchair. We will get one covered in velvet with roses all over it. We are going to get the best chair in the whole entire world. That is because our old chairs burned up. There was a big fire that because our old chairs burned up. There was a big fire in our old house. All our chairs burned up so we so did our sofa so did everything else. That wasn't such a long time ago. My mother and I were coming home from my buying new to our shoes and I had channels. She had new pumps. We were walking to our house from the bus. We were looking at everyone's tulips. She was saying she liked the tulip, the red tulips and I was saying I liked the yellow ones. Then we came to our block. Right outside our house stood two big fire trucks. I could see lots of smoke. Tall orange flames came out of the roof. All the neighbors stood in a bunch across the street. Mama grabs my hand. We run to my to my neighbor stood a bunch across the street. Mama grabs my hand. We run. My uncle Sandy was running to us. Mama yells, "Where's mother? I yell, where's my grandma? My aunt." Addie. Ida. Ida waved and shouted, she, she's here, she's here, she's okay. okay. Don't worry, Grandma. Grandma was all right. Our cat was safe too, though it took a while to find her, but everything else in our whole house was spoiled. Cat was hiding in the trash can. What was left in the house was turned to charcoal and ashes. We went to stay with my mother's sister and Ida. Ida apartment and Uncle Sandy. Then we are able to move into the 
apartment downstairs. We plant, we painted the walls yellow. The floors were all shiny, but the rooms were very empty. The first day we moved into the neighbors brought pizza and cake and ice cream and they brought a lot of other things too. The family across the street brought a table and three kitchen chairs. A very old man next door gave a bed from when his children were little. My other grandpa brought us a beautiful rug my mother's my mother's other sister Sally had made us a red and white curtains. Mama boss Josephine brought pots and pans, silverware and dishes. My cousin brought me her own stuffed bear. Everyone clapped when my grandma made a speech. You are all the kindest people, she said, and we thank you very much. It's lucky you're young and we can start all over. That was last year, but we still have no sofa and no big good place chairs. When Mama comes home or feet her, there's no good place for me to take a load of my feet. He said when Grandma wants to sit back and hum and a cup of potatoes, she has to get comfortable as she can on a hard kitchen chair. So that is how Mama brought home the biggest jar she could find in the dinner. And all the coins started to go into the jar. Now the jar is too heavy for me to lift. Uncle Sandy gave me a quarter and boost up. I could put it in. That is full. After supper, Mama and Grandma and I stood in front of the jar. Well, I never would believe it, but I guess it's full, Mama said. My mother brought home little paper wrappers for the nickels and dimes and the quarters. I counted them all out and wrapped them all up. On my mother's day off, we took the coins to the bank on bank exchange for them a dollar bills. Then we took the bus stop there to go to shop for our chairs. We shopped through four through four furniture stores. We tried out our big chairs and smaller ones, high chairs, low chairs, soft chairs, and harder ones. Grandma said she felt like Goldilocks and the three bears trying out all the chairs. Finally, we found the chair we were all dreaming of, and the money in the jar was enough to pay for it. We called Aunt Ida and Uncle Sandy. They came right down to the pickup truck and drive the um, the chair home for us. They knew we couldn't wait for it to be delivered. I tried out our chair in the back of the truck. Mama wouldn't let me sit there while we drove, but they let me sit in it while they carried it up to the door. We set the chair right beside the window with the red and white curtains. Grandma and Mama and I sat in while Aunt Ida took our picture. Now Grandma sits in it and talks with people going by the daytime. Mama sits down and watches the news on TV while she comes home from her job. After supper, I sit with her and she can reach right up and turn on the light. I fall asleep in her lap. This book is a chair for my mother. And they get a chair when she gets all this money. And the reason she gets all this money is um tips and um her grandma's her grandma's um money. So they fill up the jar, then they get a um chair that um they really, really, really like and the reason um, they don't have any more um, cool chairs is because um, there is a fire and then um, 
they were coming home and they had looked at all the tulips and the and one person said she liked the yellow and the other person said they liked the red better than the yellow and then they came home to our block and all the people um were in a thingy and there was three fire trucks but two of them were larger but i i don't know what the third one was doing it was smaller than the two other ones i'm not quite sure what it was doing even though it said um, there's two. Maybe it was talking about the um, two bigger ones. Even though it's, although it is a reading rainbow book. Bye.